From A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium, it's time for high school basketball playoff action here on WMBS on the Triple Live High School Sports Network. Tonight it's a PIAA 4A play-in game as the Uniontown Red Raiders take on the Avonworth Antelopes, a battle for third place out of the WPIL and the PIAA state tournament, which starts next Friday, March the 8th. As always, our pregame show being brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and insurance agent David Hughes. We'll get you ready for the game. They're located at 217 West Main Street in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-9812 for the Sprouse Insurance Group. Our live video stream courtesy of State Representative Charity Grim Krupa and Carnuts Auto Center. Again, Brian Morozak with Steve Super, Billy Dice behind the camera, Nick Barczyk running things back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. And Steve, the Red Raiders and the Antelopes playing for state playoff positioning tonight at Uniontown High School. Both schools lost to the WPIL semifinals. The Red Raiders were actually within three points of Lincoln Park in the final minute on Saturday and fell to the defending WPIL and state champs 74-63. to Hampton used a 1-3 chaser defense on Avonworth's all-time leading scorer Rowan Carmichael and held him to only six points after he had scored 32-36 and in the Antelope's first two playoff games as the Talbots rolled to a 61-39 to win. Yeah, for, both teams played well, and uh, uh, well, the Uniontown played terrific, and just could just didn't have enough in the tank to uh, to get it get over the hump. They got close uh, several times, and just could not uh, could, could not uh, get over that. Uh, you know where they they got it tied or, or within one, then within three, and a couple of a couple calls went against them, and just a couple of turnovers, and it just uh, it just kind of unraveled at the end. But the, anybody that was there or watched the game knows it was a lot closer than that final score indicated. And for Anna, and for uh, Avonworth here today, Steve, they're going to hold out their top score, number two, Rowan Carmichael, talking to a couple of the Avonworth fans. They said he ran into an official, has a big welt on his arm, so he's not going to play. He's only a junior. He eclipsed the school's all-time scoring mark actually earlier on in the playoffs. It was previously held by current CBS basketball analyst Dan Bonner. Of course, Bonner went on to play at Virginia along with Laurel Highlands grad Gus Gerard. Yeah, so he's uh, obviously that's good. They're going to miss him tonight. And, you know, we've talked about it. And, you, you know, you really, it's like the elephant in the room. You Do, do you want to win this game, right? I mean, I know you you mentioned it a lot uh, when we were out after after the game last week when we had lunch. And, and uh, you know, the winner of this game is going to probably face uh, – Lincoln Park again pretty quickly in the state playoffs, and the loser will get to go up and play in, was that District 9? Correct. So here's yeah. the, here's yeah. the good news. The winner of this game is going to host the PIAA playoff game next Friday against the third-place team from District 10, which is the Erie region. Possible opponents include Sharon, Hickory, Grove City, and Warren. The District 10 semifinals are tonight. But as you said, Steve, the bad news is the winner of this game will likely have to play the WPIL champs, whether it's Lincoln, Park, or Hampton, in the round of 16. Well, yeah. So there you go. And if and if they don't win tonight, they go up in District 9, which means they got to travel right a little bit farther. I think we, a couple years ago, then we go all the way up to Kernsville or something like well, that. We were in Clearfield, Clearfield last year for the Laurel Highlands game. Now, the loser of this game, as you said, Steve, will have to travel to District 9. They'll take on either Punxsutawney or Bradford. Bradford's going to be a pretty good haul. But the good news is, since the WPIL went to six classifications eight years ago, a District 9 4A school has never knocked off a WPIL opponent, and the loser won't have to play the WPIL champs, Lincoln, Parker, Hampton, until the quarterfinals. So with that having been said, would you rather win or lose this game tonight? Well, if it's me, I want to win. Okay. I, I mean, I just want, I want to win. You know, like you said, you, you know, you, they were close the other night against Lincoln Park. You're going to have to face them sooner or later. What's the difference when it is? Uh, if you want to win the, the state title, let's face it, everybody's going to be disappointed unless the, 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 the team that get the, uh, the medals around their neck in uh, Harrisburg or Hershey, wherever they play it. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be uh, – you know, you got to you're gonna have to beat the best to, to win, and you know, when what's it's probably what one or two games earlier they would have to play Lincoln Park if they win tonight. But uh, hey, first things first, let's play tonight, see what happens, and then then they still got to beat that uh, team from the uh, that Northern District uh, before they even can think about worrying about Lincoln Park again. These two schools met in the first round of the WPIL basketball playoffs last year in Uniontown, defeated Avonworth here at Uniontown High School by a score of 69-52. to 52. Well, the starting lineups in just a moment. I'll let you know the UPMC Rehab Institute on Wayland Smith Drive 
offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community. They treat sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. You can call their office at 724 437 7,500. If you're looking for a dentist, Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple. They have over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today and find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. And you can stay out of the cold with First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County with a home improvement loan, a home equity loan, or home equity line of credit. You can finally upgrade that old furnace, take care of that leaking roof, replace those outdated floors. Apply online at ffgc.bank. First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County, member FDIC, equal housing lender, and MLS number 458-729. And the T-Berry Law Offices and Attorney Vincent M. T-Berry would like to thank everyone who voted them the best law firm and criminal defense attorney in the 2023 Best in Fayette Contest. The T-Berry Law Office specializes in criminal defense, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. Make your first call to Attorney Vincent M. T-Berry in the T-Berry Law Office. They'll be the only call you need to make. You can phone 724-430-0300 for the T-Berry Law Office, small town, and big results. Now, Steve, as you're starting, I'm to be brought to you by SWGI Specialists, now U.S. Digestive Health at Uniontown, a different name but the same team, providing the same exceptional digestive care to our communities, wishing the best of luck to our Fayette County team. Steve, take it away. Okay, for the Antelopes, coming in at 17-8, 7-3 in Section 4, for... Uh, at guard, number one, 5'10", senior, Joel Summers. At guard, a 6'1", junior, number three, Noah Getz. At guard, a 6'1", senior, number 10, Matthew Farah. At guard, a, or forward, I'm sorry, a 6'1", junior, number 13, Noah Quinn. And at guard, a 6'1", senior, number 21, Anthony Aurelia. For the Uniontown Red Raiders coming in at 21 and 4, 9 and 1 in Section 3. Starting tonight at guard, a 5'10 junior, number double zero, Notorious Grooms. At forward, a 6'3 senior, number one, Jeremiah Hager. At guard, a 6' junior, number two, Calvin Winfrey. At guard, a forward, a 6'6 six six senior, number four, Cadrian McClee. And at guard, a 6'2 junior, number 34, Jameer Braxton. 51st District State Representative Charity Grim Krupa would like to wish the Uniontown Red Raiders and all of our local teams the best of luck in the WPIL playoffs. State Representative Krupa would like to invite her constituents to the Hard to Read, the Hard to Read license plate event on Saturday, March 9th from 10 to 2 at the Fayette Recycling on Romeo Lane in Uniontown. If your license plate is unreadable, you can also fill out paperwork for a free replacement. Also, State Representative Krupa will be holding a free shredding event at Fayette Recycling on Friday, April 26th from 11 to 2. And Steve, you always have stuff you want to try to get rid of and shred, right? Yeah, I just burn them. <laughs> you yeah, head, you can burn them. Sure you head, now you don't have to burn them. You head down to the yeah. free, free shredding event at Fayette yeah. Recycling yeah. get hosted by State Representative Charity Grim Krupp on Friday, April 26th from 11 to 2. Since 1983, Carnot's Auto Center has provided reliable repairs, service, and preventative maintenance. They repair all systems of your car, truck, and commercial vehicles. This includes mechanical, electrical, auto body, interior tires and wheels, bumper-to-bumper -bumper service, whether it's your daily transportation or your specialty vehicle. They have you covered. Carnot's also offers new tire sales and performs state inspections. Stop in and see Carnot's on Farragut Street right by Uniontown High School or phone 724-437. 4471. And again, the Laurel Highlands Blackhawk Girls 4A semifinal round game currently on the radio will be joining on the radio side as soon as that game wraps up. But for now, we're Facebook only on the video side. From chips to from chips and cracks to splits and shatters, if you need new glass, Fay West Glass Company is the one to call. Fay West Glass has served Fayette and Greene counties for over 25 years and specializes in residential glass installations and replacements. Proudly local and veteran-owned Fay West Glass will earn your business. Phone 724-439-8600. And Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke wishes our student athletes a great winter sports season. Mayor Gerke would also like to wish Uniontown head coach Rob Kazmarski and the Uniontown Red Raiders basketball team the best of luck this year. As the mayor of Uniontown and proud graduate of Uniontown High School, Mayor Gerke is happy to see our student athletes working hard both in the classroom and in their athletic events. And Steve, how do you ex expect to see both Avonworth and Uniontown approaching this game 
here tonight. Obviously coming off of semifinal round losses. They'll have a little break here after the game today with the first round of the state playoffs starting on Friday, March 8th. Well, you know, you just wonder what the intensity level will be like because it's not an elimination game, right? So both teams, no matter what happens, if they lose, they're going to if they uh, they're going to get to play again, and they might actually the loser might get a better draw, which is kind of an odd scenario. It's almost like the winner should get their choice. You know, what I, mean? I agree with you. you know, I was thinking the, that as well. You know, the winner should get their choice where they want to go, but that's not the way they do it. But uh, hey, I think the, I think the kids want to win. But I would think both team, but both uh, you know uh, squads will do that. But it's interesting that uh, Carmichael's not going to play. I wonder how hurt he really is, but I'm sure. It was bad enough where they decided to keep him out. Uh, but, you know, must be pretty bad because they got, what, 10, 11 days before they play again. Correct. Yeah, yes. or maybe longer than that. It could well, be. It's going to be Friday, March 8th will be the first round yeah. of the so. state playoffs. And we're talking, what, we're Tuesday, February 27th, so about a 10-day yeah. break for both of these schools before they play again a week from Friday. So we that, mentioned That these tells two, you a little bit yes. <laughs> what they're thinking. I agree. <laughs> you know? And I was actually surprised to see Cadre and McLean in the starting lineup for Uniontown. Of course, he had to miss that uh, quarterfinal round game against North Catholic. Yeah, looked but, pretty good against yeah, Lincoln he Park. Yeah, okay. I think he was uh, – it didn't look like – there wasn't one time during the game where he said, oh, he looks like he's hobbling or no. anything like that. No, he was, he was moving around pretty good. He played, you know, pretty nicely. Uh, you know, so I just think – Hey, I think you got to try to win the game. I mean, you know, who? You know, hey, if you think you could beat Lincoln Park, everybody thinks they were in the game and they were. Yeah, let's take another shot at them, right? Let's get. But you got to win the the first round game to even think about it, right? So you got to beat you, who you think they're going to play Grove City or somebody like that. Well, again, the four potential opponents for the winner of this game. Again, the District Ten semifinals are tonight. It would be the third place team from that district, and the four teams left are Sharon. Hickory, Grove City, and Warren. And again, the loser of this game takes on the District 9 champs, either Punxsutawney or Bradford. But, Steve, I wouldn't mind going up to District 9 next Ooh. Friday and getting a bison burger. Oh, that yeah. one last year yeah, was pretty good. That. Yeah, yes. that was, uh, well, you know, I can go up and see some customers up there. That's a pretty long trip, though, but it's, uh, you know, uh, you know, you can get some weather up there, too. Yes. I, mean, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> I was up in St. Mary's a couple years ago yeah. for California state basketball playoff game. It's some bad snow coming back. It happens to be Bradford. That's not too far away from where I go skiing all the time. Yeah. And a Holiday Valley up in Elliott-Cottonville, New York. So bring your nephew and go skiing. Yes, we can go skiing next Friday yeah. or Saturday after the game. You never know how things are going to pan out. We mentioned Avonworth lost in the first round of the playoffs last year. Had a pretty good run playing down in 3A in 2022. Actually made it to the WPIL championship game where they lost to Shady Side Academy 66 to 54. Also made it to the state quarterfinals, losing to Al Equipa 66 to 49. And of course for Uniontown last year they participated in eight playoff games as well. Again playing through the for a consolation round ended up being the sixth place team out of the WPIL and advanced to the state semifinals where they lost to Lincoln Park 85 to 64. We mentioned. Laurel Highlands, their girls team playing Blackhawk tonight in a WPIL semifinal round game at Peters Township High School. That game is currently in the third quarter. Blackhawk leading Laurel Highlands 28-16. to Understand the Lady Mustangs in a little bit of foul trouble in that game as well. Again, Josh Scully and Tony Hanula bringing you the audio of that game up on the WMBS Facebook page if you want to stay up to date with that game as well. And that game also airing on the radio. And again, on the radio side, our broadcast will start as soon as that game wraps up. SWGI is now a part of U.S. Digestive Health. If you have close family members with colon cancer or precancerous polyps, your screening should begin at age 40 instead of 45. Learn more at usdigestivehealth.com. Where can you go these days to have your gas pump for you, oil checked or windshield clean? Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is located on the corner of Fayette and Beeson Boulevard in Uniontown. Joby's Golf offers lockout services, general repairs, tire repairs, state inspections, a 24-hour AAA towing service. You can phone 724-438-0681 for Joby's Golf. Since 1976, Davis & Davis has represented people, not insurance companies. Their lawyers have experience in litigating or settling personal injury claims, medical malpractice cases, and wrongful death actions, together with domestic, real estate, workers' compensation, and municipal law experience. Throughout decades of work, Davis & Davis has successfully represented thousands of cases in local, state, and federal courts. For more information on how Davis & Davis can help you, phone 724-437-2799. 
You can shop the February sale at Zen's Construction Warehouse on Walnut Hill Road in Uniontown. Family owned and operated by the Nelson family. Zen's has everything you need for that next home improvement project at deep discounted prices. Phone 724-366-8274. Visit Zen's on Walnut Hill Road in Uniontown. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus, your savings. And Sandy Hall Notary Services provides notary services, vehicle registration, and transfers in the Smithfield and surrounding areas. You can phone 724-564-8955 or stop by and see them on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield. A special hello to Ed Walensky watching our broadcast tonight from Sandy Howe Notary Services. And it's also time to order your free at-home COVID test, so you'll have them when you need them. Peach and Pharmacy can help you get those free COVID tests. Just call 724 724- 626-9600, that's 724-626-9600, or you can stop in Peach and Pharmacy inside the Peach and Market in Connellsville. So Uniontown and Avonworth about to go at it. Again, this is for third place out of the WPIO and the state basketball tournament that starts a week from Friday on March the 8th. Your officials here tonight, Carl Greenwich, Mike Chokel, and Eric Blair. Again, the starters on the Avonworth side, Joel Summers, Noah Getz, Matthew Farah, Noah Quinn, and Anthony Arlia. On the Uniontown side, Notorious Grooms, Jeremiah Hager, Calvin Winfrey, Kadrian McLean, and Jameer Braxton, Rowan Carmichael, Avonworth's all-time leading scorer, being held out of the game tonight with an arm injury. Again, Carmichael came in averaging 20 points a game, 85% at the free throw line. He's a 5'11" junior guard but will not play on the Avonworth side tonight and the Red Raiders seem like they have their whole bench available this evening Steve everybody's available so let's see how uh, how coach K plays it he you know he might uh, you know play some subs just as well just to get some kids more some more experience and get some rest and avoid injuries so you never know how they're going to do it we're going to find out pretty soon though aren't we and we'll take a break here for the national anthem 8J Everhart Memorial Gymnasium tonight. Avonworth, Steve, really hasn't brought down a huge crowd here tonight. Friends Actually, most of the empty seats in the Avonworth section this evening. Yeah. Actually, I think there's more Red Raider fans over there in the, behind the Avonworth bench. A couple of them, a couple parents. And actually <laughs> held open some of these seats on this side that Uniontown fans normally sit at for Avonworth fans. But again, Avonworth not really bringing down a Huge contingent of fans. Not that far either. Tonight. It's right About an hour and 20 minutes, they said. Yeah, it's over by Diamond Run Golf Course. Correct. Yeah, yes. so it's about yep, just a little over an hour. Avonworth and their away reds here tonight. White numbers, black trim, and their bench across the court to our right. Of course, you need sound in the home whites here tonight. Maroon numbers, their bench across the court to our left. Again, your officials, Carl Greenwich, Mike Chokel, and Eric Blair. By the way, we mentioned the Laurel Highlands girls in action in a 4A Semi-final round game at Peters Township High School. That game in the late third quarter. Blackhawk a 32-16 lead now over Laurel Highlands. If the Mustangs do lose tonight, they will play on Thursday in a similar third-place game for state playoff positioning against either North Catholic or Elizabeth Forward. That game will end up being on the road again against either EF or North Catholic. But the games against Elizabeth Ford will definitely be radio only. If it's against North Catholic, there's a chance we'll have a video feed for you on the WMBS 
Facebook page. So you need town and Avonworth getting set to go at it here tonight. The Red Raiders huddling off to our left with head coach Rob Kazmarski. Avonworth already out on the court and the Antelope set to go here, Steve. Yep, just uh, they all look the same height, don't they? <laughs> yeah, not much of a drop off. Summers at 5'10", Gets at 6'1", Farah at 6'1", Quinn at 6'1", and Arlia at 6'1". So you're right, not much of a drop off there. Three players at 6'1", and Summers at 5'10". Kadri McLean in the center circle for Uniontown. Noah gets to jump for Avonworth. Uniontown working left to right as we describe it. Here in the first quarter, Carl Greenwich will throw it up in the air and underway from Uniontown High School at the opening tap. Going back to Notorious Grooms will flip it off to Calvin Winfrey. Calvin into the forecourt, picked up there by Joel Summers. Sends it out to Jameer Braxton on the far wing up top again to Kadrian. Kadrian just kind of lost the handle trying to regain. Pulled it off there to Calvin Winfrey. On the near wing again to Jameer, Jameer, Jeremiah Hager, excuse me, back to Calvin. Take a little eight-foot jumper on the near side, came up short. Kadrian the offensive rebound, reloads for the Red Raiders. Back to Jameer Braxton who drives and misses. Ball loose underneath, and the rebound pulled down by Avonworth's Matthew Farah. Farah forward there to Anthony Arlia, came underneath. Ball goes out of bounds and will stay with Avonworth here in the Union Town zone. Just underway, Brian Morozak along with Steve Subert, 7-23. Left here in the opening quarter, Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed, and Nick Barcheck back at Sander Davis and Davis Attorney Zilha Studios. Arlia getting it here off the inbounds pass. Put it back up top to Joel Summers, fronted there by Notorious Grooms. Now Farah another touch on the far side. To his left again to Arlia. We'll switch back to Noah Gintz. Kind of deliberate offensive start here from Avonworth, what do you say, Steve? Yeah, just a little weave up top, and they haven't even really looked at the basket yet. There's Getz again up top. Watch there by Winfrey, there trying to is. spin on the inside. Still Kick it in the corner, around on the wing now to Summers. And out of the corner goes Quinn. Now a jumper from the foul line, good for Anthony Arlia for the game's opening two points here at the 635 mark of the first. And a quick foul called in the backcourt on Union Town's Notorious Grooms. Well, fouls on Summers, I believe. Oh, you're right there, Steve, going yeah, on yeah. Summers. His first team first. Oh, interesting, their full court press in the Red Raiders. Not used to that. Oh, there's a awkward pass by Braxton, who actually. And, you, and usually Uniontown's done pretty good against the press, but Calvin went for getting knocked down there. A lot of contact, no call. Matthew Farrow finding the loose ball for Avonworth. Antelope's lead it 2 to nothing early on. Summers up top, it'll switch back with Getz. Gets faking on the long two, near wing again to Arlia. Send it on the inside now to Farah, trying to post up back to Arlia. Comes out of the corner, resets on the wing. Now pulls off here high on the left, fronted by Jameer Braxton. Arlia still working with it. Back again to Getz, deep three up top, off the back iron, no good Calvin Winfrey. The rebound there for Uniontown. Winfrey back through center, going coast to coast. Scoop shot attempt, no, good ball comes loose on the far side, out of bounds, and ruled Avonworth's basketball. Winfrey trying to split the defense there. He didn't really have, uh, he had Hager down on his left, and he really wasn't open, so he took a took a tough shot. Now Avonworth's Farah almost turning it over in his own zone. Able to keep it alive. Will touch off again, Arlia. Sent four there to Farah, taking a three up top. Again, off the back iron, no good. Jeremiah Hager, the rebound wow. for Uniontown, almost coughing it up, but another Avonworth miss. Uh, Hager just got the ball taken away from him. He had that happen a couple times the other day on Saturday. And Grooms in the corner, missing on a three. Kadrian, the offensive rebound, keeping it alive. They'll send it out to Braxton, long two far side again, no good. Both of these teams struggling from the field early on, and after Hager went for the save, Avonworth finding the loose basketball, and Getz bringing it back across, resetting up top, Arlia. Off to his left there to Summers. And back to Arlia who misses there on a three. And Union Town another rebound. Still 2-0 Avonworth. We play just over three minutes. Braxton again for Union Town. Front of there by Noah Quinn. Red Raiders sending it around the three-point arc. Winfrey touching it off to McLee again. Will switch back with Notorious in the corner. Hager for three again off the mark. 
Rebound deflected around, and Avenor is able to keep it alive. A little contact there between Farah and Grooms, and a foul called to Notorious. Down on the play here for Uniontown. And he's hurt. Grooms slow in getting up here for the Red Raiders. That was an unlucky break there for Grooms. The ball <laughs> rebounded, got tipped, and it uh, went to a spot where Grooms made a play on it, and he got there just a fraction late. And now he's holding his leg. Brandon Sapolsky checking in on the Avonworth side for the first time. And if you're just joining us, Avonworth playing this game without Rowan Carmichael. The school's all-time leading score is a three up top. Again off the mark from Brandon Sapolsky. The only field goal of the game made by Anthony Arlia for Avonworth. Both teams cold here in the opening four minutes. Here's Grooms right of the lane. Handed off to Kadrian McLee. Back to Notorious. Those two play catch. McLee gets it again and pulls it up and in. The opening two points of the game for Uniontown to tie this game up at two. And Avonworth back across there to Arlia. Came inside and McLee with a block. And McLee looking pretty good, Steve, after he missed that quarterfinal round game for the Red Raiders against North Catholic. And Arlia beat him to the basket, but McLee recovered, blocked it. And the ball came down underneath the hoop, and it went off of Arlia's shoulder. Blackhawk now a 41-23 on Laurel Highlands in the fourth quarter in that girls' 4A semifinal round game at Peters Township High scores Winfrey for three on the Union Town side, no good. Rebound pulled down by Avonor, it's Noah Getz. Gets right down the lane, able to float it up and in. First two of the game for Noah Getz, who came in averaging over eight a game on the Avonor side. The Antelopes a 4-2 lead over Uniontown. Here's a 3.30 mark of the first. Winfrey on the inside on his drive getting fouled. Should be in the act there, Steve. Should be. That's on Quinn, I believe. Yep, first foul on Quinn. Second team foul for the Antelopes. And Winfrey will go to the line. 63% for the season, 40 of 63. Uniontown as a team shooting 69%. 241 of 347. Avonworth a 4-2 lead over Union Tap. Here's Winfrey. First of two on the way in good for Calvin. The Red Raiders back to within one at 4-3. You can tell, Steve, this game doesn't quite have the same intensity as that Union Town Lincoln Park game on Saturday. Second of two free throws. Good again for Calvin to tie this game know, up they're, at four. They're playing pretty hard defensively. It's just nobody can make a shot. And Avonworth breaking the press. Set it off on the far wing there to Getz. It will float it up and in. So the second field goal for Getz. And Avonworth a 6-4 lead over Uniontown. for the 3-13 mark in the first. And now the tempo picking up as the Red Raiders send it forward to Kellen Milsom, who's able to tie the game at 6. 3-0-5 left here in the opening quarter. Avonworth back in the Red Raiders zone. And Anthony Arlia having it knocked out of bounds. They'll stay Avonworth basketball. They make a couple of changes as Sapolsky back in on the Avonworth side. Also, Jackson Lipchak seeing his first action. 6'3", senior forward. And off the inbounds pass, Lipchak will get it right now. The far side. For Jesse Summers. Pulled back up top again to Sapolsky. Sapolsky long two up top. Good. Brandon Sapolsky, his first two off the Avonworth bench. Antelopes an 8-6 lead over the Red Raiders. Braxton breaking the press. High feet into the corner there to Kellen Milsom. Milsom coming off the wing. Floated back again to Calvin Winfrey. Dumps it off to Kadrian McLee. Trying to find Calvin. A little miscommunication there. Saw a little bit of that, Steve, on Saturday. And it's rearing its ugly head here again tonight. Well, McLee you know, gets the ball down low. He's got five or six inches on that guy. He probably should just try to lay it up and you know back his... Muscles way into the basket and lay one in like he did in that uh, first basket of the game. But uh, he likes to pass. He's very unselfish. Summers went between defenders. They'll dump it off on the far side. A lip check who gives Avonworth a four-point lead at 10 to 6. So lip check getting his first two of the game. Now the Red Raiders trying to answer in traffic. A basket and one for Jameer Braxton. And Uniontown back to within two with a free throw upcoming. First field goal and first points of the night for Braxton. Fouls on number zero. Gold, is that Goldfain? Yes. 6-4, senior. And now Braxton heading to the free throw line. He's attempted 103 free throws so far this season. 80 of 103. 
78%. And able to cap off the three-point play with a make here to pull the Red Raiders back to within one, down 10-9. So we've got under two minutes left here in the opening quarter. Joel Summers trying to touch it through center and a steal from Calvin Winfrey. Winfrey coming back. Is it going to be a held ball? Be. Foul called on the floor. Looked like a lot of ball. I thought so, too. Wait for it to get posted here. It'll be the first on Jackson Lipchak. Fourth team foul already on Avonworth. So Uniontown one away from shooting two for the rest of this opening quarter. And Braxton sending it back to Notorious on the inside of Kellen Milsom. Out again to Braxton. Braxton now double teamed. Trying to come back inside, nothing there. Beats it off near baseline again to Milsom. Kicking in the corner to Calvin. Little hop step. Braxton on the wing. They'll try to send it around. They are going to steal. Picked uh, off there by Sapolsky again for Avonworth. They'll kick in the corner. Onishko for three, a miss. On the backside, Sapolsky picked up the rebound. Wow. This might be an offensive foul here on Avonworth. It will go on Sapolsky, his first team fifth. Don't know about that one either. We'll take it, but that... Uh, Looked like he was pretty high and got the rebound, and then Winfrey kind of undercut him and got his hands on the ball, and they called him over the back on Sapolsky. And I think the Avonworth fans cannot be pleased with that call. And it's not a player control foul, so Uniontown will shoot. Sapolsky did not have possession of the basketball when the foul was committed. So Winfrey, already two for two here from the free throw line, will get two here again. He's 63% for the season. Uniontown down one at 10 to nine. First of two here for Calvin Good to tie this game up at 10. Again, the winner will host a PIAA play-in game next Friday. The loser will travel up to District 9 and play either Punxsutawney or Bradford. Second of two free throws good for Calvin Winfrey. Now Avonworth to trigger it in. The Red Raiders will man-to-man -man pressure defense. Isaac Ellsworth seeing his first action of the night on the Uniontown side. Antelopes break the press, and from the wing, the three ball too strong there from Lipchak. It got deflected around and off the rebound. William Onishko finds it and floats it up and in. First two for Onishko, and Avonworth back in the lead at 12-11 to 11 over Uniontown as we approach the one-minute mark of this opening quarter. Now Winfrey backing off here on Jesse Summers. Staying off to his left to Ellsworth, who lost uh, the handle. Out of bounds and back over to Avonworth. Not the best pass again. Last one was Grooms. This time it was Winfrey. Kind of undershot his guy. It was uh, Ellsworth coming out there to set up, but it just threw it too far. He was coming out, and he threw it too far in. Here's Summers, double team, high on the right, trying to get out of it. He stripped. Yep. Winfrey finds it his right to Milsom, who gets the basket and one to give Uniontown the lead back at 13 to 12. Kellen Milsom now with four, can make it five at the foul line. And the Red Raiders retaking the lead here by one with 40 seconds left in the opening quarter. Second foul on Sapolsky. Already 16 fouls caught on Avonworth here in the opening quarter. Now Milsom's free throw up on the way and no good. And the rebound pulled down by Zach Goldfain of Avonworth. Back to Summers. Bounces it there to Sapolsky and fires the pass on the far wing to Onishko. Onishko resets top of the key. And from the elbow, put it off the glass, not close to the rim. And Milsom says thank you very much. Red Raiders back on the other side. Forward to Winfrey, a little contact near baseline and a blocking foul. Called there on Avonworth and the basket and one. For Calvin Winfrey, another bang-bang play. Steve, going the Red Raiders' way. Boy, they're all going the Red Raiders' way. That one could have been a charge as well, but Winfrey, you know, put his shoulder in and went up to the hoop like he's supposed to do. And that was Summers, Jesse Summers, trying to take the charge. Red Raiders need some of those calls yep. on Saturday against Lincoln Park. And Winfrey makes the free throw. He's 5 of 5 from the foul line. Now Uniontown leads by 4, 16-12. Summers in the backcourt trying to get out of trouble and he throws it right over to you, Steve. Yeah, I caught and we're it. going the other way. Good job there, pulling down that pass. You're going to have my pen in my hand. Yes, I it. you still made the play. Yeah. <laughs> and now Kellen Milsom to work it in here for Union Tech. In the backcourt to Calvin. Summers backing off, down to five seconds left here in this opening quarter. Calvin on the wing to Braxton. 
Braxton driving and able to scoop it up and in and the quarter. Shamir Braxton with five in Uniontown. Opening up an 18-12 lead over Avonworth after one here on the CR Parada Group. High School Sports Night on WMBS and Facebook Live. Are you considering a project design and don't know where to start? K2 Engineering offers a wide range of professional civil, architectural, and municipal services to meet your individual project needs. Their versatility combined with their personalized approach is what sets them apart as your full-service engineering and consultation firm. To learn more, visit k2engineering.net. K2 Engineering, where customer service is their priority. If you're in need of skilled and experienced legal services contact the Delarose Law Offices Attorney Delarose represents individuals and business clients in Uniontown and the surrounding areas in divorce and family law contract disputes and more you can phone 724-320-2306 for the Delarose Law Offices Laurel Highlands pulling a little closer down 43 to 30 to Blackhawk with 130 left in regulation in that girls 4A semi-final round game. It might be too little too late for the Lady Mustangs, but still, Steve, a great run for them in the WPIL playoffs in the semifinals for the first time since 1998. And I mentioned it the other day, Stu Davis has to be up for Girls Coach of the Year. If you look at the turnaround with that Laurel Highlands girls program, again, their season not done. We'll have them here on WMBS with a loss tonight on Thursday in a PIAA play-in game, either at Elizabeth Forward or at North Catholic. And Avonworth with the basketball here to start the second quarter. And a quick foul called on the Red Raiders with Uniontown leading at 18-12. to 12. Well, they, they caught uh, McClee, or yeah, McClee that time. His first. First on the Red Raiders here in the second quarter. Only the second foul called on Uniontown in this game. And on the far side, Avonworth's Joel Summers having it poked out of play. You have two Summers. They've already seen action on the Avonworth side. Joel wearing number one and Jesse wearing number 32. This inbounds pass going to Anthony Arlia, who works here between the circles. Antelope's down six to Uniontown, 18 to 12, 739 left before halftime. Joel Summers now up top. Front of there by Jeremiah Hager. Off to his left to Matthew Farah. Left of the lane now to Noah Getz. Gets trapped, trying to work out of it. Resets up top. Three ball on the way and swishing it in. Anthony Arlia. So Arlia now with five. And Avonworth back to within three of Uniontown. At 18 to 15. 45 seconds into the second quarter. Notorious in the corner there to Calvin Winfrey. Back to Torrey up top. He'll swing it around the arc. Over to Jameer Braxton. Trying to come free off the screen. Well defended there by Noah Getz. Noah kick back in the corner. High arcing three from Winfrey. Too strong. On the back side, the rebound pulled down by Matthew Farah for Avador. Off and across on the far side of Joel Summers. Summers going near corner now to Arlia. Arlia resetting on the wing. Now up top by having an offensive foul here. Yeah, it's going to be on Noah well, that, Quinn. They could call that on Winfrey. They did. Wow. I thought that time it was going to be an illegal screen there on Win Quinn. Well, it was a tough screen, but Win Winfrey put his forearm right into his chest and Gave a little push, so. Nonetheless, stays Avonworth basketball, nine shooting foul. I don't think the official likes where our table is. We're a little and Anthony cool. Arlia will switch it back here with Matthew Farah. Farah double team. Good ball movement. Back in the corner, Arlia for three in the tie off the back iron. No good. Winfrey appeared to get knocked down there. Nonetheless, it'll be ruled off of Avonworth's Noah Quinn going out with the Uniontown basketball as Winfrey knocked out a trash can on the far side there as well. <laughs> And Grooms will roll this one into Calvin Winfrey. What the official have to say to you there, yeah, Steve? Yeah, he doesn't. I think our table's a little closer than normal. Oh, I got you. Yeah, let's, we can back can up pull a little that bit. Back. We can pull it back a little yeah, bit, give yeah. them a little more yeah. operating room. As Braxton here on the near baseline trying to fold it up. Might have been partially blocked. And Noah Quinn finding the loose ball there for Avador. So the Antelope's down three and a seam coming near wing and in. But unable to finish there was Noah Getz. He missed there, Steve, from point blank range. Yep. And the Red Raiders back on the other side will feed off to Calvin Winfrey, and he'll drive and get that one to go. So Calvin now with nine. Red Raiders up five. And the pass down the floor to Avonworth's Noah Quinn was a little bit too deep, but he got bumped in the back, and a foul will get called here on Union Town. It's going to be on McClee. His second. And the third team foul already posted on the Red Raiders here in the second quarter. But the good news is Union Town up five at 20-15. to 15. 
5.53 left before halftime. And if you're watching our Facebook broadcast and want to listen to us on the radio, we'll be rejoining on the radio side in just a moment as Joel Summers getting a two to go there for Avonworth. Oh. His first two of the game. Antelope's back to within three of the Red Raiders at 20 to 17 with 5.40 left before halftime. Nice pump fake by Summers to get uh, Braxton up in the air. Braxton out of the corner. Resets up top now to Calvin Winfrey. Winfrey fronted there by Anthony R. Lee, and now he's going to take the three. It's in and out. Long rebound, tracked down up top, and then picked up by Matthew Ferrer. Tries to spin back through center for Avonworth, and another Almost. foul called here on the Red Raiders. Almost over and back. It was That's close. He got across the line with his feet, but not the ball, and then he threw it backwards. Some of the fans asking for it, but the official right there did not call it. So on the next foul, Steve, Avonworth will shoot two here the rest of the quarter. That's the second foul on Winfrey. And off the inbounds pass, it goes to Noah Getz, and Getz coming right back oh. down the lane, rejected by Jeremiah Hager. Into the hands of Jameer Braxton. Now Braxton out of his own zone for Uniontown. Braxton coming right back down the lane, and he'll get the basket and one for Uniontown. So Jameer Braxton now with seven, can make it eight at the foul line, Uniontown Extends their lead back to five at 22 to 17. Fouls on Farah, and the Red Raiders got away with another one there. Townsend playing pretty good defense, but you could see he had his jersey grabbed, almost pulled it out of his pants, and no call. That foul's up and off the rim, and no good. A rare miss free throw there from Braxton, but the Red Raiders, after the ball kind of tipped around, able to keep it alive on the offensive glass, and Braxton going right back at it, and he'll scoop it up and in. So Jameer Braxton now with nine. The Uniontown lead at seven at 24 to 17 with 445 left in the second quarter. Boy, Braxton's good at that driving to the basket against guys his size or even a little bit bigger, but especially when guys are not his size, he's really good at creating his own space and getting those uh, kind of falling, twisting, turning layups to go in. Avonworth now down seven. Quinn pulling it back here between the circles to Arlea. It's going to be a foul on Braxton. That'll be two at the line now for Avonworth. See who they call it on, yep. First one on Braxton? Yes, yeah. correct. First on Jameer Braxton, 15 foul. And you'll have Avonworth's Anthony Arlea heading into the free throw line. Arlea came in averaging close to eight points a game, 63% so far this season for the free throw line. Arlea first of two here, good as he rattles it home. Arlea now six points tonight. Four here in the second quarter. Avonworth back to within six of Uniontown at 24 to 18. Pretty good crowd. Yep. Filling up the Avonworth cheerleaders, filling up their section a little bit as well. Arlea now for a second of two on the way and good again. So seven for Anthony Arlea. And the Antelopes back to within five of Uniontown at 24 to 19. 14 left before halftime. The Red Raiders giving Eric Townsend some action. Over to Braxton. Jumper far elbow off the front of the rim. No good. The rebound tracked down by Noah Quinn for yeah. Avonworth. Well, Quinn a, back through center. That looked like a double dribble. Yeah, it wasn't called there. Yeah. Over to Joel Summers. High on the left now to Arlea again. Fronted by Townsend. Far side Sapolsky. On the near wing now Arlea draining another three. So Anthony Arlea now in double figures with 10, and Avonworth, Steve, they're back to within two of Uniontown at 24 to 22. 3.35 left before halftime. Here's Notorious Grooms free off the screen. He'll take a three and try to answer back. His one hit every part of the rim but fell out. And Avonworth another rebound. Sapolsky, bounce pass near baseline. Noah Quinn back out to Sapolsky. Up top to Arlea, who's had the hot hand. Arlea from the elbow. Put it off to Joel Summers. Looking for some operating room with Braxton in his face. And will miss communication there on the Avonworth side. Aaron pass with Sapolsky intended for Getz. Goes out of bounds in front of the Avonworth bench. And Union Town get the basketball back, leading by two at 24 to 22 with 3.02 left before halftime. It'll be Kellen Milsom to work it back in here for Union Town. Red Raiders working left to right here in the second quarter. 
Kellen Milsom will send it in here to Notorious Grooms. Notorious arm in the air, barking out of play. Send it off to Ellsworth, and now Notorious again. Near side, Braxton, hard pass down low, brought down there from Milsom. Sent back over to Braxton. Touch there from Hager. Grooms, Braxton, and now Ellsworth for three. This one in and out. Rebound pulled down by Joel Summers for Avonworth. Summers out of his own zone. His right to Sapolsky. Far baseline, trying to get out of traffic there. Goldfain deflected out. We'll stay with Avonworth here in the Uniontown zone. Down at 2.30 left before halftime. Been a pretty tight first half, Steve. Yeah, two-point game. Pretty tight. Both teams playing, settling in, actually getting some offense in after a rough start, a rocky start with the shooting. And yeah, we had two points scored in uh, the opening three and a half minutes combined. Yeah. Here's Joel Summers for Avonworth. Far side touch to Jackson Lipchak. Lipchak from the far elbow. A little no-look feed on the inside, but able to finish there was Joel Summers and Kellen Milsom. The rebound for Uniontown, well drawn up. But the Antelopes are able to finish there, and now Braxton again in traffic, getting the basket in one. And Jameer's done that, I think, three times already in this yeah, game, Steve. Like you said, he's really good at uh, driving in the lane and able to kind of twist and move and kind of slither his way through the defense and all the while trying to create some contact for himself to get a foul and one, and he did that there. As that foul went on, Lipchak is His second. His second, yeah. Second team foul of the quarter on the free throw. Good for Jameer Braxton as it bounced around before dropping in. Braxton now with 12. The Uniontown lead at Another five. Miscommunication there between Joel Summers and Jackson Lipchak. The ball goes out of bounds and back over to Uniontown. They've won 59. Left here before halftime. At our next timeout, or when we get to the halftime break, we'll rejoin... The radio side as well, and out of the corner, Grooms, but an illegal screen called here on Uniontown on the offensive side. Probably going to be on Braxton. Yep. We got a couple of changes here as Hager back in for Braxton, with Jameer picking up his second personal foul. That was the fifth team foul, but ruled a player control foul on the Uniontown side. So Avonworth not shooting free throws. Now went for getting the steal, but he throws it right back over to William Onishko for Avonworth. And they set it baseline near side of Lipchak. Had it blocked away by McLee. They'll stay Avonworth basketball here in the Uniontown zone. Good job by McLee to get there and Blocked that one, 6-3 six, six, Lipchak. Right off the inbounds pass, three ball there from R. Lee off the front of the rim, no good. Another whistle here. It's going to be on Goldfain. Yep, off the missed shot, and Goldfain picks up his second personal foul. Third team foul of the quarter here on the Antelopes, and we've won 30 left before halftime. Notorious Grooms will bounce it into Calvin Winfrey. Calvin back across, directing traffic up top. We'll switch here with Torrey. Near elbow to Kadrian McAlee. Over to Hager. Far side, a win free little ball fake. Looking for operating room, nothing there. Switches back with Milsom. Milsom with three antelopes around him. Gets the basket to go and draws the foul in the process. That's the fifth and one the Red Raiders have had here so far in this game. Third foul on Lipchak. Yep, Lipchak. An opportunity now for Milsom, who's 0 for 1 tonight from the foul line, 59% for the season, to increase the Union Town lead now to 8, currently at 29 to 22. 109 left before Townsend half time. checks back in, gives McClee a little bit of a breather. And a free throw on the way in good for Kellen Milsom. Now 7 for Milsom, the lead at 8 for Union Town at 30 to 22. Well, contact there at midcourt, brought down by Goldfain. Out of the corner there to Sapolsky. Back to Quinn. The dump down to Goldfain out in front, turn and shoot. Floater out the front of the rim, no good. Towns in the rebound there for Uniontown. Touch from Grooms off and across to Calvin Winfrey. Calvin driving down the lane, lost the handle, regains, puts it up off the side of the rim, no good. Another Avonworth rebound, this time pulled down by Noah Quinn. 
Antelope still down 8 to 30 to 22. Quinn back across, pulls it back here to Sapolsky. Far side feed to William Onishko. Switching back with Noah Quinn again. Between the circles there, it's Aurelia. 20 seconds left before halftime. Again, Aurelia just holding it here as the Antelope's likely playing for the last shot, Steve. Sapolsky fronted there from Townsend. Little dump down to Quinn, and Quinn comes free, and he'll get the wow. basket in one on the Avonworth side. First two points of the game for Noah Quinn. Cuts the Union Town lead to 6 of 30 to 24. Not much contact there. He got Hager up in the air, and then he went underneath of him, and uh, the official called the foul. Coach didn't really complain to the official, but he didn't really like Hager there, but I didn't think Hager could do much about that. Now Quinn's free throw attempt, no good. Came in 71%, scrum for the loose ball, rebound, will go out of bounds. It'll be Avonworth basketball with .9 left on the clock. We have to try to look here for a little tipping. Well, they could still, .9, they can catch and shoot it. Onishko sitting it out in front, oh. and the floater comes up short for Zach Goldfain. So at halftime, it's Uniontown 30, Avonworth 24. Stay tuned for halftime. Show me brought to you by the Radcliffe Martin Law Firm. We're going to rejoin the radio side in just a moment. Town, Attorney Della Rose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call Attorney Melinda Della Rose at 724-437-3200. That's 724-437-3200 or online at DellaRoseLaw.com. Are you considering a project design and don't know where to start? K2 Engineering offers a wide range of professional civil, architectural, and municipal services to meet your individual project needs. Our versatility combined with our personalized approach is what sets us apart as a full-service engineering and consultation firm. To learn more about our services, please visit us on the web at www.k2engineering.net. K2 Engineering, where customer service is our priority. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service that is open in the evening? Sandy Howell Notary Services, located on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield, is here for your vehicle, boat, motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Howell Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy. Your local pharmacy. Hi, I'm Russ Playho. As your local Allstate agent, providing protection that fits your life is something I take, well, personally. I'm committed to learning about your needs and personalizing protection to meet them. From bundling your auto, home, and life insurance with ease to evaluating optional coverage based on your protection needs, I can build an insurance proposal that fits your life. Are you in good hands? Contact me, Russ Playho, for a free quote. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability, savings vary. We give them a 172 multi-point inspection by Ford Certified Tech. Then you give them a new home. Hi, I'm Chuck Smith, general manager here at Megan Ford, and I'm talking about our Blue Advantage Certified Pre-Owned Vehicles. Go see our great selection of values on our website. Check out the free car factory reports and stop in and take a test drive. Hi, I'm Kevin Fike from Marthysburg. I've been selling Fords in the area for nearly 40 years, and all of our gold-certified vehicles come with a one-year, 12,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, plus a seven-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. I've never seen a pre-owned sales program that gives you so much peace of mind. Call us today at 724-628-2720 or visit MegganFord.com, Route 119 Connorsville, near Sheets. 
Megan Ford, your friends in the car and truck business. Welcome back to AJ Everhart Memorial Gymnasium. If you folks joining us on the radio side for the first time or at halftime, it's 30 to 24. The Uniontown Red Raiders leading the Avonworth Antelopes. And Steve, for some of the folks just joining us, one of the storylines coming into this game was Avonworth not having their all-time leading scorer, Roman Carmichael, in the lineup. But the Antelopes have been hanging with Uniontown in a pretty good back-and-forth game throughout the first 16 minutes of this contest. Well, you don't have... Uh your leading scorer, 20 points a game, and they're only down six. So, you know, they've attuned uh, the plate pretty well, but uh, we'll see what happens in the second half. The Red Raiders are playing pretty good basketball as well. It's been a pretty spirited game other than, like you said, that first three minutes. Both teams had a little trouble uh, taking the lid off the basket, but once they did, uh, the both teams have been scoring pretty well. It's been pretty physical, good defense. And uh, both teams are uh, running up and down the floor pretty well. Let's take a look at the halftime stats. The Bronx, you buy first federal savings and loan association of Greene County. Okay, for the Antelopes, Joel Summers with two points. Getz with four. Lipchak with two. Sapolsky with two. Quinn with two. Arlia with ten. And Onishki with, Onishko with two. They had 12 in the first, 12 in the second, 24 at the half. For the Red Raiders... Just uh, four players in the scoring column. Winfrey with nine. McClee had the first bucket of the game. He just has two. Milson with seven. And Braxton with 12. A lot of slashing, driving to the basket from Braxton. They scored 18 in the first, 12 in the second for a 30 to 24 halftime lead. And for the folks that weren't with us during the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show, the winner of this game will host a PIAA play-in game next Friday against a third-place team from District 10. That's the Erie region. Possible opponents include Sharon, Hickory, Grove City, and Warren. The District 10 semifinals are tonight. The bad news is the winner of this game will likely have to play the WPIL champs Lincoln Park or Hampton in the Sweet 16. The loser of this game will travel to District 9 to take on either Punxsutawney or Bradford, but they won't have to play the WPIL champs until the Elite what Eight. What happens to the... Uh loser between Hampton and uh, Lincoln Park, where do they have to go? They will host, I believe, the second place team from District 10. And here at halftime, it's 30-24, to 24, Uniontown leading Avonworth. Second half comes your way next in four minutes here on WMBS. This is, this is Charity Grim Krupa, State Representative for the 51st District. I want to wish all of our local teams the best of luck in the basketball playoffs. I also want to invite you to our hard-to-read license plate event on Saturday, March 9th from 10 to 2 at Fayette Recycling on Romeo Lane in Uniontown. If your license plate is unreadable, we can help you fill out the paperwork for a free replacement. I will also be holding a free shredding event at Fayette Recycling on Friday, April 26th from 11 to 2. I hope to see you there. We give them 172 multi-point inspection by Ford Certified Techs. Then you give them a new home. Hi, I'm Chuck Smith, general manager here at Megan Ford, and I'm talking about our Blue Advantage certified pre-owned vehicles. Go see our great selection of values on our website. Check out the free car factory reports and stop in and take a test drive. Hi, I'm Kevin Fike from Marthysburg. I've been selling Fords in the area for nearly 40 years, and all of our gold certified vehicles come with a one-year, 12,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, plus a seven-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. I've never seen a pre-owned sales program that gives you so much peace of mind. Call us today at 724-628-2720 or visit MegganFord.com. Route 119 Connorsville, near Sheep. Megan Ford, your friends in the car and truck business. Lansing Academy of Dance offers a fun learning environment for all ages and ability levels. Owned and directed by Christina Lansing John and located on Southeastern Avenue in Uniontown, Lansing Academy of Dance offers classes in ballet, jazz, tap, acro gym, point, contemporary, lyrical, hip hop, and ballroom, all at very reasonable prices. Lansing Academy of Dance provides a professional, positive, and friendly environment for all dancers to find a second home. Come join the dance family and learn from the most qualified teachers in our area. For more information, visit LanzieAcademy.com or call 724 438 
1-800-668-6911. At Uniontown Printing Press, they are more than t-shirts. They are about you and everything you love, and they are local. Operated by Mookie John and Kenny Musco, they share the passion with your group, club, or team, the excitement you have for your event or cause, and that makes your business stand out from the rest. Uniontown Printing Press believes that custom t-shirts do more than just make you look good. They help you feel good and inspire you to do good. Call Uniontown Printing Press at 724-366-7095. That's 724-366-7095. Are you down with UPP? Magisterial District Judge Nathan Henning extends his best wishes to the Uniontown Red Raiders and Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs in the WPIAL playoffs. District Judge Nathan Henning recognizes that a successful season requires teamwork. It is a result of the hard work of the players and coaches and the support of their families. Good luck to the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs from District Judge Nathan Henning, who is proud to support you. Since 1983, Carnot's Auto Center has provided reliable repairs, service, and preventative maintenance. They repair all systems on your car, truck, and commercial vehicles. This includes mechanical, electrical, auto body, interior, tires and wheels, bumper-to-bumper service. Whether it's your daily transportation or your specialty vehicle, they have you covered. Carnot's also offers new tire sales and performs state inspections. Stop in and see Carnot today on Farragut Street right by Uniontown High School or call 724-437-4471 for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com and find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Third quarter underway here at Uniontown High School, 30-24. to 24, Red Raiders over the Antelopes, and the Red Raiders' Kadrian McLee, Steve, called for his third personal foul, and that's going to send Avenor yeah. with Noah Getz to the free throw line. Raiders have the ball, and quick turnover, and the Antelopes go the other way, and, and Getz drives to the basket, doesn't get the shot to the rim, but got fouled by McLee. And able to make his first of two free throws to cut the Uniontown lead to five. Second of two from Getz on the way and good. So Noah Getz pulling Avonworth back to within four of Uniontown at 30 to 26. 15 seconds into this third quarter. Here's Kellen Milsom out of the corner. Milsom in front, pointing back to Braxton on the far wing. Braxton uh, driving right so down good. the lane. Finger roll finish. Braxton pacing the way for the Red Raiders with 14 already. Uniontown back up six in the force of steal as. Kellen Milsom finds it'll reset to Winfrey, wide open for three. Put it out the front of the rim, no good in traffic. The ball tied up. Wow. Be a jump ball called here. It'll be Avonworth's basketball off the possession there. Wow, good steal by Milsom. And he got up in the air, gonna shoot it and threw it back to Winfrey, who couldn't make the shot, but the rebound gets tied up and Red Raiders putting some pressure on the defensive end now. Summers out of his own zone, fires a pass forward. Brought down there from Getz, trying to pull it underneath to Matthew Farah. And the ball got deflected out of bounds off of Union Town and out. We'll stay with Avonworth here in the Red Raiders zone. How about Braxton just driving into the basket, making some very difficult shots look pretty easy. Played a heck of a game so far for Union Town. Farah in there to William Onishko back out in front and drawing oh, the foul. Good. There is Matthew Farah again. Farah is yet to score in this game. We'll have an opportunity now at the free throw line. We'll check and see if this Union Town foul goes on. Should It'll be, be Notorious Grooms, his second. So the Red Raiders getting a little bit of foul trouble there with Kadrian with three and now Notorious with two in the first of two free throws from Matthew Farah. No good. So Farah's yet to score in this game on the Avonworth side. I don't know if those are new shoes for Grooms, but he's still got his, looks like a price tag on the side of his <laughs> shoe. You see that? Second of two free throws, good for Ferris. First point of the game. Maybe that's what the cool kids are wearing these yeah. days. Keep the price tag on those shoes. 32-27. Union Town with the basketball, leading Avonworth by five. Winfrey up top, far side. Braxton will take the three. It's on the way and good again. Braxton can't miss tonight. He has 17. The Union Town lead back up to eight at 35-27. to 27. 6.45 left here in the third. Little double team there on Arlea. Pull it back on the wing to Summers. Coming near baseline. Had it strip knocked down, but regaining there, Noah Quinn. Back up top to Matthew Farah, draining the three. So Farah 
after a made free throw. Gets a made three in Avonworth. Hanging around. Back to within five down 35 to 30 with 6.23 left here in the third. Milsom will no look feed to Hager. Back to Milsom again. And a little touch foul call there on Noah Getz of Avonworth. In our second of two here on WMBS. Earlier on today, it was girls 4A semifinal round action. Blackhawk a 51-32 win over the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs. Blackhawk will meet North Catholic in the WPIL championship game. Laurel Highlands will play Elizabeth forward in a play-in game on Thursday. There's another drain three for Braxton. So Braxton on even 20. And he's going to try to add to it here, getting a quick steal. Shot attempt, no good. Foul caught off the rebound. Oh. Braxton goes in there and uh, gets a steal after the made basket, drives in a rare miss, and then Grooms gets the rebound, tries to clean it up, and gets fouled by Farah. And Matthew Farah, his second personal. And Grooms has not scored yet today. There's his Still first now. point. They ruled that in the ax, and Notorious his first of two. And I give Notorious credit. He has not pushed the issue. He hasn't gotten his points, but he's been pretty patient. Hasn't and had too many shot attempts no, he either. Hasn't, yeah, he hasn't hardly had any, and he's just uh, he's taking what the defense gives him, and he's passing the ball like a, you know some good, pretty good uh, assists. Makes both free throws. Give you a ten-point lead and another Avonworth turnover. So, way this one's going so far, Steve. Good opportunity for the Red Raiders to open up the state playoffs at home a week from Friday if they can hang on here. I'm forty to thirty-five, forty-three. Left here in the third quarter is Grooms again, putting it up. Shot attempt, no good in traffic. Rebound pulled down by Noah Getz, looking for an outlet pass intended for Summers. Got knocked down. Red Raiders find it, and they throw it away. They're looking for Braxton, cutting up the near boundary. Timeout, Avonworth. We'll take one as well. 531 left here in the third, 40 to 30. Uniontown leading the Antelopes. We're back at 60 on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Fatty liver is the buildup of excess fat in liver cells and affects about 100 million people in the U.S. Risk factors include being overweight, diabetes, high cholesterol, and hypertension. If you have fatty liver, our team at U.S. Digestive Health urges you to talk to your doctor about getting a blood or ultrasound-based test to check for liver scarring that can lead to cirrhosis. For more information, call us at 724-437-7677. You need down a 40 to 30 lead over Avonworth coming out of the time. Not one of our officials. Mike Joko wanted us to say hello to his mother that's, that's either listening or watching yeah, the broadcast yeah, she's, today. Uh, he's watching and uh, he's doing a good job. Yes, we, haven't, we haven't complained about the no. officials tonight. So They've been pretty uh, even on both yeah. sides. And Avonworth trying to get back into this game. Now down double figures for the first time. Working left to right. Noah Getz working outside the three-point arc. Put it off to Joel Summers. And Summers edge of the zone. As soon as we say Red that. Red Raiders want an over and back call. It's going to be a foul called here on Avon yeah. on the Red Raiders. And a block on Braxton. And a His pretty, third. pretty good call there. Red Raiders now with McLee having three personals. And Jameer Braxton also with three personals. Well, you got a 10-point lead early in this third, but, uh, you know, you just uh, got some fouls. Both teams have some foul, fouls on each side. Second straight year that these two schools have played here at Uniontown High School in the postseason. Uniontown winning a first-round playoff game last year over Avonworth, which started their run that ended up in the state semifinal round. Here's Arlia again between the circles, watched by Milsom. Dump down left of the lane, will contact, no foul called. Will turn and shoot there from Getz, shot attempt, no good. Hager the rebound for Uniontown, off to Winfrey and across. Here's Calvin Winfrey in traffic, able to get it up and draw the foul. Shot attempt, no good, and Winfrey a pair of free throws here for the Red Raiders. Winfrey was hot in the opening quarter, 5 of 5 
from the free throw line if you're just joining us. has scored nine points so far in this game. Red Raiders Third. trying to extend their 10-point lead. Third foul on Fara. And Winfrey trying to get into double figures with 10 points. First of two free throws. Good for Calvin. A couple of changes here on the Avonworth side. William Onishko into the game. And Noah Quinn back in. You have both Lipchak and Matthew Farah taking a seat. Winfrey, second of two free throws. This one no good off the front of the rim. His first miss from the foul line here tonight. Now six of seven. And the Red Raiders called for a foul as Arlia took it back through center. Ellsworth tried to get a steal and a little too aggressive. His first. The fouls are starting to mount yes, they up are. here. William Onishko now to work it in here on the Avonworth side. Needs to hurry it in. Able to get it in there to Noah Quinn. Back to Onishko. Pass his pass stolen by Winfrey. Outlet pass to Notorious Grooms who is able to lay it up and in for the Red Raiders. Four for Torrey. He needs town lead at 13 at 43 to 30. Here's Onishko coming back. Pulling it off on the far wing there at Arlia. Red Raider fans wanted to travel, didn't get it. Shot attempt, no good. He had an offensive rebound and a putback make from Noah Quinn. Pretty good shot by Quinn to get just a tough, scrappy basket by Quinn. Winfrey back for the Red Raiders, pulling it out in the corner. Milsom high, arcing three, good. Kellen Milsom. He's in double figures with 10, and the Red Raiders have opened up a 14-point lead at 46 to 32, with 3:43 left here in the third. Antelope's in a little trouble, looking for an answer back here from Aurelia. He's able to get it to go. 12 for Aurelia. Floater coming in, a little finger roll. 46-34, Uniontown Winfrey again, leaning and drawing the foul. Shot attempt no good, but two free throws upcoming for Calvin Winfrey. Well, that's a, that's Sapolsky and, and Winfrey leans backwards just to try to get the contact and he gets the call. Third personal on Sapolsky. Winfrey first of two free throws, no good. So after making his initial six free throws of the game, now has missed back-to-back -back free throw attempts. Jesse Summers back in on the Avonworth side along with Zach Goldfan. They pretty much played their entire bench here tonight, Steve. Again, no Rowan Carmichael for Avonworth. Out with an arm injury. And the second of two free throws for Winfrey. Good, he has 11. And Avonworth triggers it in. A little double team here on Arlia trying to work out of it. the wrong way. Yes, he is. <laughs> Over to Jesse Summers. They need to hurry it across. They do get it back across to William Onishko. Dumps down out in front. Turn and shoot no good there from Zach Goldfain. And Union Town the rebound. Up 13 with a basketball at 47 to 34. Coming back. Left hand shot attempt. No good. Milsom. We got an antelope down. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. That's not good. You have Noah Getz. Looks like an ankle. Holding gets. his ankle in a UPMC Centers for Rehab Institute. Injury timeout brought to you by the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute. The leaders in physical therapy. Visit physical therapist Jim Burns on Wayland Smith Drive. From 724-437-7500. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute. Relief is closer than you think. We'll take a quick 30 here on the CR Product Group. High School Sports Night. The T-Berry Law Office and Attorney Vincent M. T-Berry would like to thank everyone who voted them Best Law Firm and Criminal Defense Attorney in the 2023 Best in Fayette Contest. The T-Berry Law Office specializes in criminal defense, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. The T-Berry Law Office is located at 84 East Main Street, across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Union Town. Make your first call to Attorney Vincent M. Tberry in the T-Berry Law Office. Phone 724-430-0300 or visit their new website at tberrylawoffice.com. The Tberry Law Office, small town, big results. Back here at Uniontown High School, Noah Getz being helped off the floor. Not good news at all, Steve, for Mike Mancuso's squad. No. Getz came in averaging over eight points a game, 74% from the foul line, 6'1 junior guard. Well, he doesn't want to touch that right leg to the ground, so that's not, uh, not good news. For the Antelopes. And again, Avonworth already held Rowan Carmichael out of the game. Their all-time leading score with an arm injury. They're down 13 right now at 47 to 34. So we've got under three minutes left here in the third. And McLee, a big-time block there on Anthony Arlia. Yep. And he actually, Steve, put it off of Arlia and out. So it's going to be Uniontown basketball. He batted it down and hit him on the head. 
And now an outlet pass for the Red Raiders down to Kellen Milsom. Pulls back left of the lane. Goes cross court far side to Ellsworth. We'll take a deep three in front of the Red Raiders bench off the mark. Milsom offensive rebound in traffic. Go a little turn and shoot out in front. Quick finish. Second attempt here. Puts it back up off the back iron. No good. Ball still loose. Battle on the floor. Winfrey finds it. Comes back near baseline. Up top to Ellsworth. To his left to Grooms. Hierarchy three off the side of the rim. No good. Rebound. And a whistle off the rebound. Another antelope down as Joel Summers went well, down. We're bringing a foul call here on Union Town. Offensive end. That's going to be on Milsom. Who do they call that on? It's Winfrey. His third. So you have three on Calvin. Well, the good news is for the Red Raiders, you're up by several points here. 13. 13. So you have three on Grooms, three on Winfrey, three on McLean, and three on Braxton. That was the fifth team foul of the third quarter on Union Town. So you'll have Joel Summers shooting two free throws now for Avonworth. Well, they're still working on Summers over there, and he is not, or Getz, that was Getz, right? The Correct. Yeah, yeah, Noah Getz that got injured as Joel Summers makes the first of two free throws here for Avonworth. 47-35 now, Union Town with 2.24 left here in the third. We're trying to take his shoe off, so that's... Uh, Summers now a second of two free throws here for Avonworth. Up on the way and good again. So Summers makes them both. He has four. Avonworth, though, still down 11 at 47 to 36 with 220 left here in the third quarter. Here's Notorious Grooms back across, picked up there by Jesse Summers. That works off to his right where Zach Goldfain will find him as Grooms takes the long two off the mark. In traffic, the rebound pulled down by Avonworth and William Onishko's pass is well too high there for Zach Goldfain over his head and out of bounds. And back over to the Red Raiders with 2.02 left in the third. Union Town still hanging on to a 47-36 lead. Yeah, good job by Onishko to get, a, get the rebound and get it out. He had a guy going down the right side and trying to make a play and just could not uh, connect. Ellsworth into Grooms, notorious across over to Jameer Braxton. Braxton on the near baseline, and another foul called here on the floor. That's going to be on number 10. That's uh, Farah, Farah, his fourth. Yeah, that's going to be his fourth. You're right. With 156 left here in the third, and the Indian Town lead at 11. Well, 15 fouls. That'll send Jameer Braxton, who's already scored 19 points. Check that, 20 points in this game to the free throw line. Make it 21 as he drains the first of two here. Union Town led 18-12 after one quarter of play, 30-24 at halftime. Now up 48-36 with 156 left here in the third quarter, lead at 12. Braxton trying to make it 13, second of two free throws, good for Jameer. He now has 22 points, and the Red Raiders have another comfortable cushion. As Avonworth brings it across here with Jesse Summers, front of there from Ellsworth. Pulls it back to Jackson Lipchak. To his right now to Joel Summers again. Back in the corner to Noah Quinn. Quinn fronted there by Hager. Up top again to Summers. So a little push off there on Ellsworth. Going to work off to his left. Pass there to Jackson Lipchak. Inside now to Noah Quinn. In the corner to Joel Summers. Then no Rowan Carmichael in the lineup for Avonworth tonight. Out with an arm injury. I was disappointed, Steve. I wanted to see him play. Their all-time leading score. It's like the NBA load management. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Summers again. Long possession here for Avonworth. They'll try a little dump down. Don't even get a shot away. Red Raiders knock it forward to Notorious Grooms after a little tip from McLean in the corner. Braxton again. Three ball came up off the side of the rim. Offensive rebound. Hager able to keep it alive. Resets to Grooms. Thought about the deep three. Works to his left. Now to his right. Over to Ellsworth. Now Notorious again with 45 seconds left here in the third. Lead still a 13. Torrey over to Ellsworth. Picked up there by Joel Summers. Back to Notorious high on the left. A little poke there defensively from Jesse Summers. Torrey sends it back in the corner to Ellsworth. Takes a long two near wing in and outs. And the rebound pulled down by Avonworth's Zach Goldfain. Touch from Jesse Summers. Back on the wing to Joel Summers who switches in the three. Five here in the third, seven for the game for Joel Summers. Avonworth back to within 10 down, 49 to 39. Braxton in traffic, back in the corner, getting notorious Grooms. Grooms with six left on the clock. 
Misses there on a three. Rebound underneath, pulled down by Goldfain. Avonworth needs to hurry, and Goldfain just inside the Uniontown zone. Pretty good look, but couldn't get the three to drop. So we play three quarters of basketball. Avonworth trying to hang around, but Uniontown still up 10 at 49 to 39. The fourth comes your way next in 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zen's is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your savings. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. 49-39, Uniontown leading Avenue. Arthur Prime Rosak along with Steve Super. Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed. Nick Barczak back in town. Our Davis and Davis attorneys in Los Studios. Appreciate you joining us for WPIL High School Basketball Playoff Action. Actually a PIAA play-in game at Boys 4A for third place. Winner will host in the first round of the state playoffs against the third place team from District 10, the Erie region. The loser hits the road to take on the District 9 champs, either Bradford or Punxsutawney a week from Friday. We still talk, Steve, during the first portion of the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame, showing away the loser of this game actually has an easier state playoff draw. They won't see the WPIL champs until, until the Elite Eight round instead of the Sweet 16. Well, that one deflected out of bounds. Yeah, but you, it's hard to tell the kids to lose on purpose, Brian. No, they I just want to win. You got to beat them eventually, right? You know it's probably you know, going to be Lincoln Park coming at you. Hampton, a couple of big big guys, though, down low. Should be an interesting boys 4A state title game. That'll be our WPIL championship game, excuse me. That'll be 9 o'clock on Thursday night down at the Peets. Jesse Summers kicking it out. And the three made by Anthony Arlia for Avonworth. So with that three, Steve, Avonworth back to within seven of Uniontown at 49 to 42 with 7-12 left here in the fourth. And here's Winfrey for the Red Raiders directing traffic up top. Avonworth showing a 2-3 zone defensively. Touch from Braxton. Back over to Winfrey to his right to Grooms and he will turn it over. The right into the hands of Jackson Lipchak. Four here at R. Leo looking for another three that went out the front of the rim. No good, but getting the basket and one on the putback, Noah Quinn. Quinn now with six can make it seven here at the foul line and Steve Avonworth making this a game. They're down only five with 6.52 left here in the fourth. And the fourth foul on McClee. McClee. And that was just a fortunate bounce. Uh, the ball barely grazed the rim and it went straight down. Timeout Uniontown, 6.52 left here in the fourth. 49-44, Red Raiders are back at 60. Let's see our product group, High School Sports Night. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service that is open in the evening? Sandy Howell Notary Services, located on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield, is here for your vehicle, boat, motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Howell Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. From chips and cracks to splits and shatters, if you need new glass, Fay West Glass Company is the one to call. Fay West Glass has served Fayette and Green counties for over 25 years and specializes in residential glass installations and replacements, plus commercial and industrial glass. So when that window's busted or that sliding door shattered and you can't wait, Fay West is available. 724-439-8600 That's 724-439-8600 Proudly local and veteran-owned Fay West Glass will earn your business. Noah Quinn making the free throw for Avenue to cut the Uniontown lead now to four at 49 to 45. Braxton on the other side, another made two. 24 for Jameer Braxton. He is 24 of the 51 for the Red Raiders. Uniontown back up six at 51 to 45 with 6.30 left here in the fourth quarter. Oh, off balance shot, kind of falling away. There's a good defense by Grooms. 
Getting it away there from Arlea into the hands of Kellen Milsom for Uniontown. Back up top to Braxton. Braxton making it look so easy. No look feed to Hager. I don't think he was expecting the pass. Here's Avonworth coming back in transition after the steal. Scoop shot, score it for Anthony Arlea again. Arlea five here in the fourth, 17 for the game. Good job. Avonworth back to within four. Arlea had, uh, it was an awkward uh, break there. He had guys coming on each side of him and a, and a trailer to the left that he kind of kind of fended off the defense with his body and kind of laid it up. Milsom out of the corner to Grooms on the wing, back between the circles again to Winfrey. Far corner, Braxton looking for another three. This one on the back iron, no good. Offensive rebound kept alive by Kellen Milsom. Feeds it back to Braxton. Braxton out in front, got fouled by Jackson Lipchak. That'll be his fourth. Another good job by Milsom to get a rebound. And then Braxton, the guy, he's like the one guy that moves to the basket Looking for the basketball. A lot of guys standing around sometimes and not Braxton. Now Braxton, an opportunity here with two free throws. First of two, good to give him 25 points. Fourth foul on the check. 52-47, and you town the lead at five with 5.37 to play. Now they're hanging around, aren't they? Yes, they are. Avonor trying to make a little run back of the Red Raiders. Yeah. Union town led by as many as 13 in this game. You got uh, Braxton, second of two free throws, good. 26 now for Jameer Braxton. Uniontown lead at six and 53 to 47. Now Joel Summers out of his own zone. Watch there by Winfrey. Two possession game, 527 to play. Summers staying with it. Resets up top, Noah Quinn for three off the mark. Braxton, another rebound for Uniontown, and he'll get fouled there by Joel Summers. That'll be his second. And the second team foul of the quarter on Avonworth. But Braxton, one of his best games all season. Steve already with 26. Opportunity to add to it here in the final 519. It's probably a, not a bad fail, a foul by Avonworth. That would have been a fast break chance. I agree. Good community support for the Red Raiders tonight. See our buddy Phil Michael over there. Dr. Michael George, one of our sponsors, George Dental Associates in the house. Nice contingent of Red Raider fans here tonight for this yeah. PIAA play-in game for third place for the state tournament that starts guys, a week from Friday. Those guys come almost all the time. Yes, they do. Don't miss the game. The superintendent, Dr. Charles Macheski here as well. And that ball turned over by Uniontown. Avon were trying to come back, so set up to Arlea. He lost the handle. A little hot potato for it. Red Raiders find it. They have numbers coming back. Grooms to Milsom, leading but missing. And the rebound pulled down by Matthew Farah again for Avonworth. Farah ahead on the wing. Joel Summers for three. Halfway down, came out. Had an offensive rebound from Quinn trying to keep it alive. He's pressured. They try to pull it back out on the wing to Sapolsky. And he'll turn it over there as Milsom finds the loose ball for Uniontown. Red Raiders up by six with the basketball. And Milsom looking there for Grooms. It's Sapolsky stepping in front of that one, Steve, with the intercept. Milsom just, uh, just uh, threw it over to the right. Didn't think of... Uh, Defender would have been trailing the play. Coach not happy, but I don't know if there's much Milsom could. You don't expect a defender to be coming from the backside behind the play like that. Noah Quinn firing a pass down to Joel Summers. Back in the corner again, Arlea. Resetting on the wing. Arlea looking for operating room. Pulled over to Matthew Farah. Farah from the left wing and in. Scoop shot, no good, but he's fouled. Hager. It's only the second on Hager, I believe. A couple of free throws. Upcoming here for Farah. Second team foul on the Red Raiders here in the fourth quarter. Farah for the season, 85% from the free throw line, just one of two so far on this one, and misses the first of two here. Lead still at six for Uniontown at 53 to 47, with 357 left in regulation. McLee back in on the Uniontown side with Four personal fouls. Farah now a second of two free throws. On the way and good. Five for Matthew Farah. 53-48. With 3.52 left here in the fourth. Here's Grooms back high on the left to Calvin Winfrey. Fronted there by Joel Summers. Winfrey spinning and dancing there for Uniontown. Back to Notorious Grooms. Now Calvin again. Watched by Summers. A little hop step on the inside. Fultz in the corner again Almost to Hager. Looks like they're back out to Braxton. A little delay tactic all of a sudden. They're up five. You can take a little time off the clock right now. 
325 to play, and underneath feet again to Braxton Falcom. And going our Aaliyah, just his first, but in the act. So Braxton back to the free throw line. He has 26 points in this game for the Red Raiders. He's had a terrific game. First of two free throws, good for Jameer. Driving, getting to the basket, and actually hitting some long range shots as well. It's a tough combination to stop, isn't it? Yes, it is. Braxton, second of two, good again. 28 for Jameer Braxton. The Newtown lead at 7 at 55 to 48. Three possession game with 318 left here in the fourth. Arlia pulling it back there to Matthew Farah. Farah up top, a little pivot, turn and shoot, blocked by Hager. Ball comes loose, top of the key, scooped up there by Calvin Winfrey for Uniontown. Calvin fancy dribbling on the near side, pulling it back to Notorious Grimms. Now he'll reset back outside the arc. Uniontown back in a stall mode right now with 2.55 to play in a seven-point lead. Grooms again high on the right. Watch there by Farrell. A little double team comes over. Feed off to Braxton. Threw it near side. And a nice save from Winfrey. Play whistle down. Timeout, Uniontown. 2.42 to play. Red Raiders 55. Avonworth 48. We're back at 60 here on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Davis Law Firm has been helping injured people in Fayette County for over 45 years. If you've been injured and you need an attorney, call today. One of our six attorneys will come and meet with you if your situation is such that you can't come to us. We will not rest until we get the maximum amount of money for you that you deserve. I'm attorney James Davis and I will fight for you. Call me today at 724-437-2799. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. So we're coming out after that timeout. Another timeout, Steve Cohn, 55-48. Uniontown leading Avonworth. We'll keep it right here. Let you know our live video stream tonight. Courtesy of State Representative Charity Grim Krupa and Carnuts Auto Center. I appreciate them and all of our sponsors bringing you high school yeah. basketball playoff action. We didn't know if we'd be able to bring you this game, Steve. As of about 12.30 this afternoon, got approval yesterday. And they tried to take it away from us today, but we were able to keep it alive. Carnuts is... Uh Pretty nice place. I've yes. had my car service down there several times and got tires and, you know, he has full right service. Right in the neighborhood, right by the high school. Yeah, Can't miss for, it. Yeah, right across the uh, street from us here. 242 left here in the fourth quarter, 55-48. You need to have the basketball in a seven-point lead. Trying to play back at home and open up the state playoffs. Coming up a week from Friday. Notorious double team. Go over to Calvin Winfrey. Calvin on the near wing. Now the double team comes over on Calvin. Back in the corner again to Jameer Braxton. Braxton, Kadri yeah. McLee a touch. Uniontown still trying to stall. And now a foul called as Notorious Grooms had the basketball there for Uniontown. And that'll be the fifth team foul of the quarter on Avonworth. Yeah, it's going to put them at the line. Right. Or no, Unless they four. must have just been four. You're right. They posted up there pretty quick. So the yeah. next foul, Uniontown will shoot two the rest of the way. We go to the backcourt now to McLee. He'll hand off here to Calvin Winfrey. 2.18 to play. Uniontown still leading by seven. Calvin in front of there by Joel Summers. Floating it back again to Notorious Grooms. Now Calvin knocked down. And I think Jesse Summers will pick up the foul. Yes, he will. That'll be his third. And we'll send Calvin to the free throw line for Uniontown to shoot two. Well, you one more. You, you, you got you to... Gotta, Start fouling, or else, you know you just I can't agree. let Uniontown dri dribble out the clock, and that's what they they would do. Well, one more high school basketball broadcast this week. It'll come your way on Thursday. The Laurel Highlands girls taking on Elizabeth Ford. That game will be at Elizabeth Ford Radio only, just due to the fact they have some NFHS restrictions up at Elizabeth Ford High School. Winfrey knocks down the first of two. Will be unable to bring you any live video for Thursday's game. We'll have it for you on the radio. We'll have an audio stream on Facebook as well. Second of two free throws for Calvin. That one off the back iron, no good. 
Well, they lost and the ball. And the ball will go out of bounds, yeah, they and it will stay with Uniontown. Trying to get up the court quickly, and they kind of fumbled it out of bounds, and the Red Raiders get it back. Up eight with 2.08 to play, and they can smell a win here tonight. Grooms double teamed, and a timeout the call there by the Uniontown bench with 2.06 to play. It's a 56-48 Uniontown, 2.06 to play. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Magisterial just for Judge Nathan Henning extends his best wishes to the Uniontown Red Raiders and Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs in the WPIAL playoffs. District Judge Nathan Henning recognizes that a successful season requires teamwork. It is a result of the hard work of the players and coaches and the support of their families. Good luck to the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs from District Judge Nathan Henning, who is proud to support you. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. So we come back, Uniontown sends it into Kadrian McLee, and he's quickly found. Red Raiders up eight at 56 to 48, 205 left here in the fourth. Third personal on Zach Goldfain for Avonworth. Well, if you're Avonworth, you really don't have much choice. You got a foul pretty much right away. And that's probably a, a you know a decent uh, chance to foul here. McLee doesn't get to the line that often. And he misses the first of two free throws here, but did come in, Steve. 69% for the season from the free throw line. He's done a nice job. 39 of 62. That's also the Uniontown team average. Second of two here for Kadrian. Again, no good. Ball comes loose. Yeah, the Red Raiders an offensive rebound there from Notorious Grooms. Trying to dribble it back Lost out. It. Lost it out of bounds, though, and over to Avonworth. Good defense by Avonworth. I mean, or uh, Grooms just was dribbling. He's trying to get out of harm's way. He was double teamed, and he just kept going the wrong direction. Avonworth three timeouts. Check that Uniontown. Go no, check that. You're right. Avonworth three timeouts. Uniontown only two timeouts remaining with 150 to play here in the fourth. Antelopes with a basketball. Deep three far side. No good there from Sapolsky. Antelopes get an offensive rebound. They'll reload with Anthony Arlia who drains the three. So Arlia 20 points in this game including two made threes here in the fourth quarter. And the Red Raiders appear to cough it up. But a foul was called here in the Antelope Steve. Yeah, and that's going to be on... I believe number five. That's his fourth. That's Sapolsky. Uh, Sapolsky. That's going to send Braxton, who has been terrific in this second half. He's only missed one free throw tonight. The Newtown lead at five at 56 to 51. He's eight out of nine today. Been very solid. That has accounted for 28 of Newtown's 56 points. So basically half of their scoring. Get two here and make the first of two. And just He's 5 of 5 from the foul line here in the fourth quarter. Just a confident stroke. Just uh, gets up there and fires it. Not thinking, right? He's just uh, point and shoot. I don't think Billy's even going to ask us who we think our, the player of the game should be tonight on the Indian Town side. And Braxton, a rare missed free throw, but he has 29. 57-51, still a two-possession game with 131 to play. Avonworth, a little That's drive a here from Arlia. Scoop shot, score it. Wow, Arlia keeping him in the game with 22, 57-53. Double team comes over on Milsom. Winfrey going for the save, trying to keep it alive to Braxton. He'll throw it back in play. Comes near side in front of us, and a foul will get called on Joel Summers, knocking down Kellen Milsom. Well, not much uh, Summers could do. He had to go for the ball, and that was just a helter skelter. It was. And uh, we were like, we didn't get run over. Yeah. The ball was thrown down the corner, and Braxton saved it, almost went out of bounds. And Milson right there, Johnny in the spot, and he got pummeled by uh, Summers, picks up his third, but uh, big free throws here for Milson. First of two for Kellen with Union Town having everybody off the line. That ball sat in the front of the rim and fell out. I know, that ball almost stayed on the front of the it rim. It did. It's like one of your putts hanging on a lip. Yeah, mine never fall either. No, me neither. Milsom second of two. On the way, and again, no good off the front of the rim. A little life here 
for the Antelopes. They're down four, 112 to play. This one not over yet. Arlie is staying with it. He's played a heck of a game for Avonworth and a foul called here on the floor against the Red Raiders. Only the third Uniontown team foul and the first personal on Kellen Milsom. So the Antelopes will trigger it in here. Left of the basket in the Union Sound zone. Sapolsky, the trigger man. Sapolsky to send it in over to Arlia. He'll come near baseline. Little fade away off the side of the rim. No good. Grooms the rebound there for Union Town. Braxton oh, down. Braxton, Braxton down serious. with an ankle injury. Braxton down for Union Town. Not good. Not good at all. And the trainer sprinting out there. With 58 seconds to play, and Uniontown up four. Braxton, a heck of a game with 29 points, but he's down on the court. So another UPMC Rehabilitation Institute injury timeout brought to you by the leaders of physical therapy. Visit physical therapist Jim Burns on Wayland Smith Driver, phone 724-437-7500. You can the feel the uh, energy getting sucked yes. out of this gym right now, and this is not, you know, you don't like to see anyone get no. hurt. I mean, they had uh, their guy... Was that Getz got hurt, right? Correct. Getz, and he's uh, sitting over there with his ankle up on a chair. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute relief is closer than you think. We'll take a quick 30 here on WMBS. Falling on in love with a house? Head over heels for a home plan? Take the plunge. Apply for a mortgage loan with First Federal Savings and Loan of Greene County. Feeling commitment shy? Complete a mortgage pre-qualification. It's simple. 100% online, and you'll get a personalized answer within one business day. Then save the date for a move-in day or groundbreaking and put a key ring on it. Apply online at ffgc.bank, First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County, member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS number 458729. Jameer Braxton helped off the court. Red Raiders triggered into notorious Grooms. Union Town leads by four at 57 to 53. And Grooms able to shake off Joel Summers. Come forward and now notorious Grooms fouled here high on the left. So Tori will get a pair of free throws. Summers is hurt. Wow. Well, he's he's going to hop up now yeah. on this playing game, Steve, taking its toll yeah. on both teams. Well, you really hope uh, Braxton's yes. okay. They, he walked off kind of. He was able to put a little more pressure on his leg. Now, the good news but, is you have 10 days to get ready for the next game. Yeah, but you never know. But that's just, you just hope he's okay. Again, you need to send everybody back. Grooms of the foul line. First of two free throws, good for Notorious Grooms, who has scored five points in this game. Lead back up to five at 58 to 53 with 47.4 left here in the fourth. Second of two, this one no good from Notorious. Avonworth the rebound. Here's Joel Summers out of his own zone. Summers working off to his left. Up top now to Goldfain. A little mini weave going on right now. Over to Arlia. Had to bounce it back and a nice save there edge of the zone for Sapolsky. And a timeout taken here by Avonworth. 30 seconds left. 58-53. This will be a 30-second timeout with the Red Raiders up three. So back at 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. The T. Berry Law Office and Attorney Vincent M. T. Berry would like to thank everyone who voted them best law firm and criminal defense attorney in the 2023 Best in Fayette Contest. The T. Berry Law Office specializes in criminal defense, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. The T-Berry Law Office is located at 84 East Main Street, across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Union Town. Make your first call to Attorney Vincent M. T-Berry in the T-Berry Law Office. Phone 724-430-0300. Or visit their new website at tberrylawoffice.com. The T-Berry Law Office. Small town, big results. So 30 seconds left here in regulation. Union Town up 58-53. to 53. It will be Avonworth basketball as Brandon Sapolsky will trigger it back in. Antelope still have two timeouts remaining. Union Town with two timeouts remaining. Sapolsky off the inbounds pass. That's deflected by Hager, but deflected over to Goldfain. Goldfain on the inside. Well, they're going to call. call a foul here on Union Town. That, on could, the that could be. If it's not on Grooms, it is. Because that would have been the fourth on McLean. Right. And it's the third on Notorious. Yeah, 25.9 left. Avonworth to work it in. Into Goldfain. He'll get a quick two and make it a one possession game. 58 55. Those are his first two points of the game. Red Raiders off the inbounds. Pass Grooms coming forward to Hager. Hager clear cut towards the basket. Was fouled on the drive. Shot attempt no good. 
with 14.7 left. So some big free throws upcoming here, Steve, for Jeremiah Hager. Second person on Anthony Arlia. Got to hit at least one of two here. We'll give Avonworth an opportunity to tie it. Hager's yet to score in this game for Uniontown until now. Makes the first of two free throws. Big one there to give Uniontown a four-point lead and make this a two-possession game. Hager now is second of two. This one no good. Goldfain the rebound after a little juggle will come forward. Goldfain up top with a man in his face. Took the three. Partially blocked. Ball comes loose. Picked up by Calvin Winfrey. Four seconds left. Over to Notorious Grooms. He'll pull it back out. And the Uniontown Red Raiders will come away with a 59-55 win over Avonworth tonight and host a PIAA first round state playoff game here a week from Friday. Stay tuned for our post-game show brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Comes your way next here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. We give them 172 multi-point inspection by Ford Certified Techs. Can you give them a new home? Hi, I'm Chuck Smith, General Manager here at Megan Ford, and I'm talking about our Blue Advantage Certified Pre-Owned Vehicles. Go see our great selection of values on our website. Check out the free car factory course and stop in and take a test drive. Hi, I'm Kevin Fike from Marcy'sburg. I've been selling Fords in the area for nearly 40 years, and all of our gold certified vehicles come with a one-year, 12,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, plus a seven-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. I've never seen a pre-owned sales program that gives you so much peace of mind. Call us today at 724-628-2720 or visit MegganFord.com. Route 119 Connorsville, near Sheets. Megan Ford, your friends in the car and truck business. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Colorectal cancer is common and often lethal. Screening is preventative and should begin at age 45, unless a person has a strong family history of colon cancer when 40 is the recommended age. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Hoppy, and I encourage everyone to follow these guidelines as this can be a lifesaver. For more information, call our team at U.S. Digestive Health, 724 724- Four three seven seven six seven seven. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service that is open in the evening? Sandy Hollow Notary Services, located on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield, is here for your vehicle, boat, motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals, and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Hollow Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke wishes our student athletes a great winter sports season. Mayor Gerke would also like to wish Uniontown head coach Rob Kesmarski and the Uniontown Red Raiders basketball team the best of luck this year. As the mayor of Uniontown and proud graduate of Uniontown Area High School, Mayor Gerke is happy to see our student athletes working hard both in the classroom and in their athletic events. Charity Grim Krupa, State Representative for the 51st District. I want to wish all of our local teams the best of luck in the basketball playoffs. I also want to invite you to our Hard to Read License Plate event on Saturday, March 9th from 10 to 2 at Fayette Recycling on Romeo Lane in Uniontown. If your license plate is unreadable, we can help you fill out the paperwork for a free replacement. I will also be holding a free shredding event at Fayette Recycling on Friday, April 26th from 11 to 2. I hope to see Since you there. Since 1983, Carnot's Auto Center has provided reliable repairs, service, and preventative maintenance. They repair all systems on your car, truck, and commercial vehicles. This includes mechanical, electrical, auto body, interior, tires and wheels, bumper-to-bumper service. Whether it's your daily transportation or your specialty vehicle, they have you covered. Carnot's also offers new tire sales and performs state inspections. Stop in and see Carnot's today on Farragut Street right by Uniontown High School or call 724-437-447. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. 
small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. Lanzi Academy of Dance offers a fun learning environment for all ages and ability levels. Owned and directed by Christina Lanzi John and located on South Beeson Avenue in Uniontown, Lanzi Academy of Dance offers classes in ballet, jazz, tap, acro gym, point, contemporary, lyrical, hip-hop, and ballroom, all at very reasonable prices. Lanzi Academy of Dance provides a professional, positive, and friendly environment for all dancers to find a second home. Come join the dance family and learn from the most qualified teachers in our area. For more information, visit LanziAcademy.com or call 724-438-6911. Uniontown, a 59-55 win over Avonworth tonight. Red Raiders improve now to 22-4 on the season. Avonworth drops to 17-9, so Uniontown will host a state playoff game here a week from Friday against the third place team out of District 10. And I was actually told Steve an upset brewing up in District 10 top seed Sharon down six with a minute left to Hickory, the number five seed in the semifinals up there in District 10. So, so you Hoosiers, could have. The Hoosiers, Hickory. Are they, they called the Hickory Hoosiers? I think they were. Wow, Remember that's that? nice. Wasn't that Hickory? That's nice. Yeah. But still, you could have a top seed from District 10 end up coming down here as a third place team out of the postseason. You never know. Still a lot to yeah. shake out in those playoffs as well. But we do know Uniontown will host here a week from Friday. And 59 55, your final score. Our post-game show brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside of the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. And Steve, as your final stats, they're brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Green County. Zach Goldfain, Goldfain had two points. Summers with seven. Noah Getz with six. Lipchak with two. Sapolsky with two. Far Farah with five. Quinn with seven. Onishki, Onishko with two. And Arlia led the way for... The Antelopes with 22 points. They scored 12 in the first, 12 in the second, 15 in the third, 16 in the fourth, 55 for the game. For the Red Raiders, uh, Notorious Grooms finishes with five points. Hager had just one, but it was a big one. That free throw kind of put him over the top at the end. Winfrey with 12, McClee with two, Milsom with 10, and Jameer Braxton with 29 points. Yeah, we hope his ankle's yeah. all right. Yeah, we hope his, or his ankle or his knee, whatever it was, but he went down, but he got a he walked off, so, you know, hopefully uh, he'll be okay. They scored 18 in the first, 12 in the second, 19 in the third, 10 in the fourth as they hang on for a 59-55 hard-fought victory. And certainly some injury concerns as well on the Avonworth side. Noah Getz left the game early. Avonworth play without Rowan Carmichael as well tonight. So both of these teams, maybe some injury question marks, well, Steve, going Getz, in the first round of the state Getz's playoff. Getz's injury did not look good. I mean, he... Uh, he hurt his ankle. He wouldn't put any pressure. Couldn't put any pressure on it. They had him up on a over there on the bench, and they took his shoe off. They they were uh, putting him down there uh, where he had his uh, his foot elevated. That's never a good sign. And Braxton, like at least it looked, he was walking around up and down the bench towards the end of the game. He walked through the handshake line, and uh, so he didn't look that uh, hobbled. But uh, hopefully he's okay. And uh, like you said, if it's just an ankle. Or a little bruise or something, they got uh, 10, 11 days to, to get better. You got a 59 55, your final score. Union Town over Avonworth. We're back with a final word in just a moment. Chris, Chris Parker Jr., what's going on for February at Auto Land Hyundai? Well, this year's leap year, there's President's Day, and don't forget Valentine's Day. Interest rates have been high, but you'll love this. 0% financing available on 2024 Tucson's and new 2023 Santa Fe. Or up to $9,000 savings off select all-wheel drive Santa Fe. And here's another sweetheart of a deal. Lease a 2024 Elantra SE for only $199 per month. Just see us for details. What else do you have going on? Well, President's Day reminds us of great leadership. Just as Hyundai leads the way by offering Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain protection. And Leap Year is an extra day. So with Hyundai sales event cash, you'll save an extra $1,000 on all new remaining 2023 Hyundai. Plus three-year, 36,000-mile free complimentary maintenance. Visit their website, autolandhyundai.com, or stop by their location, 25 East Fayette Street in Uniontown. And remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. At Uniontown Printing Press, they are more than t-shirts. They are about you and everything you love. And they are local. Operated by Mookie John and Kenny Musco, they share the passion 
passion with your group, club, or team, the excitement you have for your event or cause, and that makes your business stand out from the rest. Uniontown Printing Press believes that custom t-shirts do more than just make you look good. They help you feel good and inspire you to do good. Call Uniontown Printing Press at 724-366-7095. That's 724-366-7095. Are you down with UPP? Magisterial District Judge Nathan Henning extends his best wishes to the Uniontown Red Raiders and Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs in the WPIAL playoffs. District Judge Nathan Henning recognizes that a successful season requires teamwork. It is a result of the hard work of the players and coaches and the support of their families. Good luck to the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs from District Judge Nathan Henning, who is proud to support you. Prime Rozak and Steve Subert back wrapping things up here from Uniontown High School tonight where the Red Raiders have knocked off the Avonworth Antelopes by a score of 59-55 to earlier tonight on WMBS. You heard the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs fall to Blackhawk in a WPIL 4A semifinal round game, 51-32. to Laurel Highlands will play Elizabeth Ford in a PIAA play-in game coming up on Thursday night. That game will be radio only at Elizabeth Forward High School. Don't have a start time for that game as of yet. We'll have it for you again, radio only. That's due to some NFHS restrictions over at Elizabeth Ford High School. Not, unfortunately, Steve, be able to have a video feed of that game on Thursday. And the restrictions are its uh, unbelievable. They don't even have, do they even have announcers sometimes? No. They sometimes no. they don't. We, again, we almost got blacked out. We were given approval of this game. Yesterday. Explain to folks what would happen if we get blacked out. So they have a camera up there above the... There's above a camera up there that's, that was put in by a former athletic director here. It's no longer here. It wasn't Harry, so don't, right, right. don't blame Harry. Right. Uh, that's up there. So we were able to bring you the Quaker Valley game in the first round due to the fact that we had an agreement with them that we had to cross-feed our feed over to NFHS. That was fine by us. And then we were given approval tonight to do the game yesterday. And I got an email about 12.30 today and was told that we weren't going to be able to do it because of that camera being there, which just basically be a video of just the game itself, no scoreboard, no announcers, nothing. And, and then they ended a, up it's, basically... It's an unmanned camera. Unmanned camera, correct. And, and it kind and, of follows they, the ball, apparently, but no, no scoring. Yeah, uh, and they the, demanded a substantial fee from us, which we ended up paying just to bring the folks the game tonight due to the fact that we advertised it. Um, so we had to pay that fee so they at the last minute. Ransom, pretty much. Pretty much. After yeah, we had yeah. initially paid, obviously, to carry a lot of these games all season. So, but the good thing is we were able to bring the folks the game here tonight, and hopefully we'll so have. So when some people pay to watch the next game, if they have to pay, they're going to get no announcers and no scoring. If it on, ends up on, being here, but again, we don't yeah, know what the yeah, state playoffs right. how things are going to shake out. Right. So. Yeah. But the good news is Uniontown got a win tonight, 59-55 over Avonworth. Again, we'll have the Laurel Highlands girls for you. Coming up on Thursday, again, radio only, that game at Elizabeth Forward High School. I'll pass along the time once we find out from the WPIL. So Uniontown wins at 59-55. to Steve, enjoyed it as always. Yeah, it was fun. Good game. Good, good, uh, good job by the Red Raiders. Let's hope... Uh you know, let's hope uh, that Getz is okay for uh, uh, for their next game for uh, Avonworth. I mean, I hate to see a kid go down like that. I mean, hopefully he'll he'll come back for them, and hopefully uh, Braxton will be okay for the Red Raiders. And we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll get him. He's coming out of the locker room now. You see him; he's limping a little bit over there, Brian. But uh, he's walking at least. So that's the good news. Uh, good yeah, news. Yeah, that's good news. Yes. So you need town a 59-55 win for Steve Super, Billy Dice behind the camera, and Nick Barczyk back in town, our Davis and Davis attorneys in the studios. I'm Brian Morozak. Have yourselves a pleasant good evening again. Uniontown wins it 59-55. Selling everybody from Uniontown High School. Chris Bart